American Family Insurance. For all your protection under one roof, it's the Miranda Wright Agency, Westby and Verocla, providing you with a wide range of reliable insurance protection for you and your loved ones. Hardworking farm insurance coverage as well from your American Family Miranda Wright Agency. Stop in today and see why they are the family that you choose. Cashton Building Supply and CBS Design. Be sure to stop in and see Kevin Kirking or Courtney Cousy for all your new building or renovation plans. It's your one stop to get everything you need when it comes to home, agricultural, or remodeling projects. Call 654-7871, Cashton Building Supply and CBS Design. Cade Clearing, fully insured for your protection. Call for a free estimate today when it comes to tree removal. Contact Brett, 608-615-0827 or Riley at 608-632-3678 when it comes to clearing out old tree stumps or taking down hazardous trees. Cade Clearing, the place to go. Carmen Fortune, your local New Directions real estate expert. Stop in to New Directions real estate office located at 110 North Main Street in Westby. Talk to Carmen or Shane today regarding the Northern Wisconsin Tobacco Building located in Barocla. With an unlimited amount of possibilities for you, this property could be yours. Give Carmen a call today, 608-606-2497. ADRC of Vernon County, supporting elderly and the disabled. 402 Courthouse Square. The ADRC of Vernon County is looking for volunteer drivers in Hillsboro, Lafarge, and Ontario. Help transport your neighbors to medical appointments or for daily errands. Mileage reimbursement is available. Call Vernon County's Aging and Disability Resource Center today. Brigham Oil Company. Good luck to the Cash and Eagles throughout the year. Brian and Jody Brigham remind you that when it comes to your heating and fuel needs, give them a call 654 7358, located at 1307 Front Street. Brigham Oil, your local fuel oil service. Looking forward to serving you. The Bank of Cashin hopes that you're enjoying today's special presentation. Be sure to call Scott Wall, 654-5121 for all of your banking and investment needs. Now located at 724 Front Street, a new modern bank, yet the same know your neighbor attitude. The Bank of Cashin. Welcome back to Viroqua, Ken Manning, Western Wisconsin Video Productions. We're going to take a moment here for our national anthem. Welcome aboard to tonight's Cooley Conference volleyball action. 
looking for a, another great night of volleyball here. We watched the Roca Blackhawks pick up a three games to none sweep in the JV side of things. And now we're going to have the introductions here for both teams. We'll have those coming up as they get lined up. Viroqua has their starters out there. But uh, the customary thing to do is to go with the visiting team. They're getting that taken care of. The head coach over there, Kelly Schulte. Katie Schwartz, of course, the coach here for the Blackhawks. These two teams did not meet up in uh, Black River Falls a couple weekends ago when we were up there for that tournament following Verocla and Westby. Here is our starting lineup, Riley Prestwood, Bree Nortman, number eight here, and Sierra Campbell, and then Sienna Campbell. Number 15 in Heidi Williams. And number 16 in Emma Blunt. The libero tonight is Bailey Dean. Let's turn our attention over here now to the Blackhawks. Their first starter is Alia, Alia Fox. Number four in Whitney Screedy. Here is Mara Anderson. She'll be the, I don't want to say libero, but she's a setter. Number 12 in there in Grace Stuber. 14 in Bryn Swenson. And number 15 in Trixie Kappa. Your libero. is, um, I just lost it. Is, it. is that Zitzner out there? No, it's not Zitzner. I'll come back with that one. Let's get things ready to go here. In uh, Cami DeLapp, excuse me. There, I knew I'd get it sooner or later. Had to just keep going down the line. <laughs> here we go with game number one coming up. Evinger's Equipment Sales and Service featuring steel, country clipper, simplicity, and much more. It's Evinger Equipment in Viroqua. Best of luck to the Eagles, Blackhawks, and Norsemen as they compete in the Cooley and Scenic Bluffs conference races. Sweet Valley Artisans invite you to stop in Browse the 9,000 square feet of Artesian Mall located in Coon Valley. Featuring more than 50 local artisans, you'll find your treasure. And while you're there, stop in and take a look at Valley Fudge and Candy located in the back of the store. Fantastic, delightful, 75 flavors of fudge just for you. Eagle Title Company located on the north side of Coon Valley, 95 Central Avenue. Be sure to stop in and talk to Lori Holte regarding the five things not to do during your new property closing. Peace of mind and solid protection for you, the consumer, during your new purchase. Lori Holte, working only in Vernon, Monroe, and La Crosse Counties to serve you. Stop in at the VFW in Viroqua for great nightly specials. The VFW has an excellent menu from tacos, sandwiches, pizza, and of course the delicious Friday night fish fry that comes with a soup and salad bar. Let them take care of supper for you. It's the VFW of Viroqua. Premier Co-op, serving members since 1893. 
your corporate office located in Mount Hora. Other sites include Cashton, Lafarge, Richland Center, Baroqua, Eastman, and Westby. Best of luck to all the area teams throughout the season. And they wish all of you a happy and prosperous new year. Thanks to those many sponsors, and we're going to get started with uh, starting from the back of the alphabet forward, which is Westby Co-op Credit Union, with nine offices located now throughout southwest, western Wisconsin, and now into central Wisconsin, over there in the Portage area. How about that? Congratulations to them. And the Westby Co-op Creamery, hey, congratulations to the Creamery as they continue to do an outstanding job with uh, their sour cream, cottage cheese. Uh, they just, they continue to win top-notch honors throughout the state in so many of their products. And we have them right here in our neck of the woods. You can't go wrong with that. Well, the Tigers will get the opening serve and coming across here to the Blackhawks. That was uh, Swenson. There's a big hit. Good block there on the touch by the Tigers. Good touch there by Norman to keep the play alive and a big smash, but the lap was there on the stop. Big hit to the back row. Dean on that, the libero. Coming off the ceiling a little bit too quickly. And Anderson, and who was that down below there in uh, number three in Fox, they collide trying to get to that ball. They're both kind of laughing like, hey, that was, we're good, you know? And yeah, you got to go after it. That was a good job. There's a double hit, it looked like, but it was one person from Baroka. Might have been Kampa with that one. Here's a big smash and a big block. Blunt and Norman combined for the block. Continuing with the serve here. This is uh, one of the Campbell girls. That is uh, Sierra with the ace. And they jump out 3-0. Well, the Tigers wound up in the semifinals of the gold division in their tournament a couple weekends ago. Roka in the semis of the silver. There's a nice block. That was Kappa right there. Boy, she had all of her arms and hands and everything and put that one right back down. It's one serving three. Both teams are losing in the semis of their respective divisions, and then they were done. That's an ace. An ace by Anderson. They did not play for the third place. It was uh, one and done once you get into your gold, silver, bronze divisions. Lacrosse Logan eventually winning the gold division. They defeated Westby. Westby defeated Viroqua in the semifinals. There's a call, someone in the net. That was uh, Zitzner. Got her shoulder, I think, caught in the net there. But yeah, a great tournament. Uh, some good competition up there. And we'll see how things bowled well here tonight for both teams. That's going to be an ace. Wow. A shot straight down. And Bryn Swenson could not reach it. The lap was there also, but that one zipped right between them. Here's the serve. That's going to go into the net. That time, the Tigers not able to get that one to pop over off from the serve from Bella Falcon. It's three serving five. Nice serve to Dean. Falcon will move the ball forward. Little tip at the net just over the outstretched arms of one of the Blackhawks. And then I tell you what, Zitzner pulverized that one. She was over on that far side, right up next to the net, and she brought it a ton. Cross court here to the far corner, and the Tigers wound up touching it and not able to control it. Four serving five, thanks to Vasateg Funeral Home bringing you the action tonight. Little tip at the net. 
Anderson with the set. Big hit. Got over the net. And illegal touch by Blunt. Five apiece now. Vastag Funeral Home. You'll find them in Westby, Verroca here, and surrounding communities with, uh, for reliable, compassionate support during the time of the loss of a loved one. Vastag Funeral Home. Also, our thanks to the Verroca Dental Center as the Tigers will pick up the uh, ball on the serve as they hit back to them was out of bounds as now that is out of bounds by Bree Nortman. A little too much on that one and it's back to six apiece. A little jump serve there. That was uh, Kappa, back to Kappa off from Anderson, free hit coming. They got it over the net. Good job there by Stuber. Block at the net. And uh, we're going to go with four hits, yes. It did not get over the net. Somebody was up there in the front. That, I think that was Swenson. But uh, the ball did not cross the net. It hit into the net. That serve is going to go out too much on that one. And it's going to be seven apiece. Emma Blunt to serve. Pretty good serve there. That one might have been out of play. It hits the ceiling and bounces down with a lot more speed. Fox not able to control it. Good try, though. Well, the Viroqua Dental Centers we mentioned for the gentler side of dentistry. Experience that with Dr. Leanne Klum and her wonderful staff on the north side of Viroqua, right behind Sleepy Hollow. We're going to get an illegal hit here. Swenson pleading her case saying that she hit it with the heel of her hand. The official not buying it. Referee here on the stand. He made the call, and it'll stand, of course. Anderson with a little tap up. Free hit coming by the Hawks. Blunt with the setup. Cross court hit. Nice job by Anderson. Saving. Back row hit from uh, Fox, or was that Coppa? Might have been Coppa back there. Now a free hit, and that is going to be... Just out. Whoa, that was close. The lap let it go. And it just dropped behind uh, behind the line, not in front. Zisner comes out. And let's take a look here at who is coming in. This is number four in Whitney Scrady. Blunt with the touch. Got to get it over. They did just that. That came off the arm of number 10 in Sienna Campbell. On the bump back to the Blackhawks, they put it on the line on that far side and pick up the point. A precision touch right there. <clears throat> it's nine apiece. Too much on that one <laughs> on the serve. And uh, Scrady puts that one on the other side of the net, way over. And we're at 10 serving nine. Looking to serve now. This is Sienna Campbell. Got it over here to the back row. Back to Swenson. No, instead it's going to be somebody right beside. And that was, uh, was that Kappa? No, it was number 12 in Grace Stuber. Stuber in there. Come up with a nice hit. Ten apiece. Here's Swenson with the serve. Free shot. Oh, not going to get it. Norman with the pass, she wanted to just move it forward. Uh, check that it was not Norman that was number four in uh, Prestwood. She wanted to move the ball forward, put a little too much on it. But Vroka couldn't capitalize. Mara with a good save. Anderson got it back up over, and now the touch. Here comes the Tigers. Yep, that's a good piece of hitting right there by Norman. Took a lot off from that one. Didn't go for the big smash and came away with the point. Here's the serve. This is uh, 15 doing that serving was Williams. And oh boy, the ball goes. Was it touched? Nobody. They say nobody touched it. Verocla is stunned. Literally, all six players thought that 
Somebody from the Tigers touched it. I couldn't tell. I got to be honest. I looked down checking the numbers here quickly. To the back row it goes. Blunt on the setup. Cross court hit. That'll be a point by Williams. And now with timeout here, 14 serving 10. And uh, that last point actually was Prestwood, not Williams. Number four. Embroidery and more. For quality embroidery, sewing services, screen printing, and promotional products at reasonable rates. Be sure to stop in, see Greg Danes at their location, 210D Swigham Road in Westby. Get the job done right the first time. Best of luck to the Norsemen, Eagles, and Blackhawks throughout the year. The Daily Brew Company, family owned. The Ola Roots and Cades invite you to stop in. Try the many delicious items on their menu. Looking forward to seeing all of you from your friends at the Daily Brew Company on the north side of Westby, 100 Washington Street. Call 634-4001. Fernan Communications Cooperative has connected their members to the latest technology for 70 years. Whether it be phone, internet, streaming, or digital video, they are your reliable and secure connection to communication. VC Co-op provides a superior fiber optic network to serve their members with world-class technology and unrivaled local service. Aroka Booster Club, supporting the many teams of Aroka High School. The Booster Club works closely with coaches and administration to assist in many ways. Thank you to the Aroka Booster Club, fans, parents, and alumni for their great financial and moral support over the course of all these years. I'm Adam with the Right Choice Construction, the lacrosse area's remodel expert. Time for new windows or a patio door? Give us a call. Our EcoSmart windows are designed to withstand harsh weather, making them more energy efficient. They're long lasting, weather tight, and never need to be painted or stained. Find out how easy and affordable your new windows or patio door can be. Call us today to schedule a free in-home consultation with one of our knowledgeable design consultants. Right Choice Construction, the right choice for your... Well, the quick timeout by head coach Katie Schwartz just to make sure that everybody can get back on the same page here. Makes total sense. Thanks to the Viroqua Booster Club, the fine folks. Contact Carl Zuby. Any of the members... And, uh, yeah, you can probably contact uh, Eric Anderson now as well as Eric is back in as an interim athletic director here for the time being. If you'd like to become a member, be sure to contact them. The VFW, thanks to uh, those fine folks on the south side of Oroqua. No one does more for veterans than those great folks. They have a delicious Friday night fish fry. Got to give that a try. Here we go with the serve from the Tigers. They're going to push the ball back. Anderson, good reaction. Back across here on the free hit. Blunt setting the ball up. Block at the net. It's going to go out of bounds. Who touched it last? Ask the question. They're going to give it to the Tigers. Well, I tell you what, that was a tough call right there. The Tigers and Norman and Prestwood were there. But they say the last touch pushed it out of bounds was from Viroqua. Here's the play now. Big time hit right there. And that was Swenson getting the point. Brynn with a big hit. 11 serving 15 for DeLapp dropping back to serve. Pretty good serve to the back row. Campbell popped it up and uh, Blunt trying to get to it to pass the ball, wound up on the floor. The ball going away from her. 12-15. The lap. Good serve. It's going to be just out. Wow, that was close. 
nearly caught the back line. Just missed, and it's going to be 16 serving 12 off the arm of Swenson. And it's a point here for the Tigers. They're up by five, 17-12. Here's Campbell with the serve once again. Big hit. Oh, a big block there by Blunt and Norman. Coming right back, the Blackhawks. Here's a pass. Norman will fist the ball over. And then somebody into the net. It might have been Norman. 13 serving 17 as Mara Anderson drops back. Mara with the serve. Back row, Campbell. Setting the ball up. Did not get over the net. Norman hit it hard, but not over the net. And it's 14 serving 17. Mara Anderson continuing with the serve. High serve to the back row, and it's just out. Carried a little too much. Now coming in to serve here. This should be Falcon. This is Bella. Bella Falcon, a sophomore. Boy, she's got a great serve. You can see that Why she comes in to serve. Going cross court. It's out of bounds. Swenson with the shot. Trying to hit that deep corner, but to no avail. Thanks also uh, going out to uh, more of those sponsors. Let's take a look here as we get ready for the next serve, and then we'll mention Brokwa coming up. There's a big hit. Nice job there on the dig. That was Dean. There's a block. Blackhawks coming up with a big one there by Trixie Kappa. Back we go here. VMH, Verda Memorial Healthcare. Five-star ratings when it comes to Medicare and Medicaid for the past 16 years. What a job they do. And the folks... In those uh, situations, they understand and appreciate all that VMH does. An ace here for Fox on that last serve. Now the second one coming up. Anderson popping the ball in the air. Now to the lap. Free hit coming back up. It's going to hit the ceiling and come over, and that'll be a point for the Tigers. Well, it's 20 serving 16. Norman will drop back to serve. That's a line drive serve, but it went into the net. Back to Viroqua at 17-20. In to serve now, this is number seven in Emma Harum. Well, we saw Emma on the JV doing a nice job tonight. Here she is getting a chance to serve in game number one. Anderson trying to tap that ball into the air instead of go straight down on her teammate's feet. Over there in Swenson, it looked like. The lap comes back in. Kappa, let's see, is that Kappa that comes out or Stuber? Stuber comes out. No, Stuber's in. She's right here in the front row. That might have been Kappa. <laughs> There we go. Setting the ball up to Campbell with the smash. Far side. Anderson was there. Right back from Swenson on a hit. Showing some strength by both teams on the attempted kills. There's a little block. Blunt's there. Trying to set it up and it just got over. That was Stuber with the pass. Falcon to Blunt. Campbell with the hit. Anderson with a nice save. Setting the ball up. Cross court. Touched by Dean. Back it comes on a reverse hit. Back hit. Good smash. Good volley going on here. And now into the net. Verroqua will earn a hard fought point right there. That was quite the volley. 18 serving 21. Back in comes Whitney Scrady. To Dean. Falcon on the bump. A free hit back over to DeLapp for the 
Blackhawks. Swenson with kind of a softer hit. Campbell with a smash. Got to get it over. Not quite. A block there at the net just in the nick of time also. That was 15. And Heidi Williams, the senior. For the Tigers coming up big. 22-18. Quite the match here. Quite the game. Game one. That's going to be playable. And in the back row, that was Fox. And she got it all the way over. Back to... The Hawks. Swenson got it down low. It'll be a hit and a score. Illegal touch. 19 serving 22. Here's Swenson with the great serve. Dug out nicely by Norman and crew. And then Norman pops the ball back over. Here's a hit, oh, it didn't go down. It went straight across from Stuber. And it's 23-19. Williams with the serve. Cross court hit there to the back row. Nice save by Blunt, but nobody can get there. Norman tried, just no place to control it. Dean comes back in, the libero, and dropping back to serve is the Verroqua libero in the lap. Crestwood popped the ball up, but nobody could get to it. Blunt gave it a good try, and it's 21-23. Well, you need a lot of points here. Try to get them in a three or four in a row here if you're the Hawks. Good serve, back row, Campbell. Setting it up, Presswood blocked at the net. Anderson, can they get it? Oh, it went. They're playing. Oh, what a hit there. Blunt with the save. Blunt now with the free touch back over. Here comes a hit, big time. You can see that one develop. And Fox came through. 22-23, oh, that was a fun one. Here's the lap. Good crowd for the student section for Barocco tonight. Oh, they could have called that one illegal, but they didn't. Try again, there's a block at the net. Coming back over, and it's not gonna happen. Presswood wanted to pop it over, <coughs> and it wound up back on the floor. We're knotted at 23 apiece. Boy, what an exciting uh, game number one. What do we have in store down the road? Coon Valley Telecommunications, offering a full lineup of channels with HD service, DVR set-top boxes for your viewing enjoyment. Be sure to talk to your Coon Valley Telecommunications representative today. See what you can save with the Roku streaming boxes using Coon Valley Telephone Internet Service. Gunderson's Barocca Clinic with quality emergency care, physicals, initial care, follow-up calls with your health, all in our backyard. The Barocca Gunderson Clinic, one of the many regional departments that serve the surrounding communities. Gunnarsson's Barocqua Clinic, where health begins with comprehensive medical care. 637-3195. The future is bright for Touchstone Energy Cooperatives. You inspire us to find solutions to provide the energy our community needs and the knowledge you can use to save you and your family money and keep business thriving. Great things lie ahead, and what's here today has never been better. Touchstone Energy Cooperatives, your source for power and information.
Stoddard, DeSoto, Ferryville. It's not hard to figure out where Riverbank got its name. Those three communities are where Riverbank started. Now that Riverbank has grown to serve communities in Bangor, Berry Mills, Coon Valley, Holman, La Crosse, Sparta, Toma, and Westby, the same close community spirit that brought us together is still there. Friendly, personal service, understanding the customer's needs, and going the extra distance in providing service. Riverbank, local banking made simple. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Thanks to a couple more of those sponsors, uh, Vernon Manor Healthcare. Find out why you're treated like family when you're at Vernon Manor Healthcare. They've been doing that for well over 100 plus years. Thanks to Amanda Huff and that crew. Served by Verrocla. Blunt with the free touch back over Swenson. Setting the ball up with Anderson. A block attempt. Not able to stop it as Kappa comes up with a solid shot. And Verrocla is sitting at game point right now. 24-23. Tigers need a stop. Verrocla needs a point. Good pass. Blunt. Oh, she tipped that one over trying to catch the Hawks off guard. There is uh, the hit, and can they save it? No. Dean gave it a try, but the Blackhawks prevail 25-23. What a game number one. The Blackhawks will take the early 1-0 lead here in this best of five. We'll take a look at another one of our sponsors. Uh, let's see. I think, I don't know if I mentioned uh, Vernon Electric, your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. Providing nearly uh, 11,000 patrons with affordable electrical energy. We appreciate their great support here tonight in Viroqua. And we hope you enjoy tonight's broadcast, a Western Wisconsin video production uh, featuring, of course, the Blackhawks of Viroqua. Our thanks also to the great folks at Vernon Communications bringing you today's action since 1951. They've been around serving the area with nothing but the highest quality technology service. Back with more, we need to take a break. Vernon Manor Health Care Center, located just outside of Oroqua, a county-owned long-term care and rehabilitation facility. Be sure to call Amanda Huff or any of her crew at 637-5400 and find out why you are treated like family at Vernon Manor Health Care Center. Culver's of Aroqua. That's where you can get a great tasting butter burger or crank it up a notch. It's the deluxe burger right here in Aroqua, where food is grown, not made. Home of the concrete mixer. Culver's hopes that you're enjoying today's special presentation. And remember, they offer a flavor of the day each and every day. Scenic Bluffs Community Health Centers with medical, dental, behavioral health, chiropractic, acupuncture, and pharmacy services. They support all of your health care needs under one roof. Scenic Bluffs offering a sliding fee scale program to make high quality care more affordable. Schedule an appointment today, 654-5100. Main Street Designs. If you're in need for a cut, color, or highlight, be sure to contact Leah Kroon. Main Street Designs may be just what you're looking for. Conveniently located in the heart of Westby. 116 South Main Street. Give Leah a call today, 634-3201, and set up your appointment. Well, let's uh, take a moment here and say thanks to some more of those sponsors. We have a new one, folks. Thanks to Linda and Steve Schulte down there in Coon Valley. It's Sweet Valley Artesian and Valley Fudge and Candy. My goodness, what a great place to go when it comes to that Valley Fudge and Candy. And, of course, the uh, Sweet Valley Artesian, um, I'm going to say building. You'll find Valley Fudge and Candy in the back and a ton of selection. I mean a ton. 
all kinds of flavors and uh, you know it's homemade that's that's what's so cool about it stop in there folks right in the center of coon valley you won't go wrong sleepy hollow looking for that newer used vehicle stop in and have a chat with levon or any of his great associates in the three facilities here on the north side of Viroqua. Thanks to Sealand's Carpet Land, located in the heart of Coon Valley as well. Yeah, they're right across from uh, Sweet Valley Artesian. You can go and check out all kinds of things there in Coon Valley. Thanks to uh, Tim Sealand and all those professionals. If uh, you walk on it, they sell it. That's their model. Here we go with game number two. Oh, a big block. Somebody in the net, though, on the Tigers' side. It was the wrist, they say. Yeah, it might have been Campbell. She was up in the air. She's, you know, she's not that tall, but she can jump. And <laughs> she was up there. Here's Blunt on the set, and Presswood hits it out of bounds. Tried to go to that coffin corner on the far side, and too much on it. Anderson continuing to serve here, 2-0. Back row, that was Campbell, one of the twins. Big hit, that'll score a point by Prestwood. Came through there on a nice shot. One, two, your serve. Oh, what a serve there by Campbell. I think that was Sierra. Free hit from Siana Campbell. Anderson sets the ball up. Partially blocked at the net. Koppel with the hit. Back row, we're going to get a whistle. Yep, somebody for Verocco was in the net. On the turn, trying to get back. They touched the net and caught it with their shoulder, it looked like. Two serving two into the net. It goes from Sierra Campbell. And it's now three serving two. Dropping back is Fox. Anderson and DeLapp there in the back row. Blunt with the free hit. Anderson is there. Good pass. Trying to get that one over. That one might have been called illegal anyways. <laughs> Maggie Barra tried to push that one over. She might have had a hand on that a little too long, but... The ball bounced back anyways. Good try. 3-3 three, three your score and Falcon hits a line drive out back. You do not want to hit a home run here and that's what that one was. That was way deep. Dean with a good pick up there. Setting the ball up. That was... Uh, Kappa hit the top of the ceiling, hit the ceiling. It just comes down so much quicker. Hard to get to that. <laughs> just got that one over. That was Norman for the ace. Skimmed the net and Dean, or check that DeLapp couldn't handle it. And they'll try again. Here's Norman with that jump serve. That one was just out. She was trying to go back to the same spot. And this time the line drive, DeLapp let it go. It's five apiece, my goodness. Here's the surf by Screedy, and she'll pick up an ace. Thanks to those uh, great folks at Scenic Bluffs Community Healthcare in Cashton. That's the corporate office. That ball goes into the net, and we're back to an even six apiece. Thanks to uh, all that they represent, and of course, uh, your health care behavioral, acupuncture, and a whole lot more. Scenic Bluffs Community Health. Now we got a neat little uh, program too on there. Um, that's gonna be in a point there by Campbell. 
the uh, Norwalk facility. We did some interviews. They had a little uh, ceremony with the renovation. We'll have that on YouTube and on Channel 14 a little bit later this week, I believe. Block at the net. That was a good play by Swenson. She was able to hit it twice. What a play there. Dean will go with the free hit to Fox. Anderson setting the ball back up. Fox from the back row. That's Blunt on the touch. Campbell, free touch back over. Anderson sets it up. Down low, but tell you what, Emma Blunt is always in a good spot. There she is again. Bumping that one up. Touch over here by Viroqua. Swenson with the free hit. That was Falcon. Good volley here. There's a block. That was Anderson. I think Anderson was the one who touched it. Also right there, just in case, was Haley Dregney. Good serve. That one nearly out of bounds. They had good recovery. Back across from Campbell. Anderson sets it up. Here's Fox with a big hit. Off from the face of Falcon. Boy, that ricocheted off from Dean and caught Bella Falcon right in the eye. Caught her in the right eye. There's Falcon. She bounces right back with a nice play. Block at the net. Got to save it. Anderson did. Good job there on the reaction. It, it teeter-tottered on the net, right on top. <laughs> Block, tip. Got one more hit. They got it, and it's out. Trying to save it. And uh, excellent try there. Williams hit it out of bounds. Here's the serve coming by Swenson. Bryn with the ball over. That was Campbell. Sierra, back it comes to Sierra. Free hit to the back row. Too much on it. And Viroqua has a three-point lead at 10-7. Line drive to Falcon. Dean on the pass. Campbell just got it over, and she'll get the point. Those are tough. She hit a line drive shot, caught the top of the net, spun over, and then down to the floor. Eight serving ten. Getting ready to serve here now for the Tigers. Got the ball over. Good dig. Oh, what a save there by Viroqua. Blunt, can they get it over? They do. It's going to go out of bounds, though, here on the near side. Scrady over there on uh, our left here. What a save by the Blackhawks keeping that play alive. Thanks to the River Bank located in Westby on the south side and in downtown Viroqua, or Viroqua, in downtown Coon Valley. I'll get it straight. Never mind me. Good play again by Blunt on a terrific save. Back across it comes. Anderson setting the ball up. Big hit out of bounds. That time, Kappa, a little too much on that one for firepower, and it sailed on her. Nine serving 11 for Williams. Yeah, thanks to uh, the River Bank, it's that down home financial help that you love to have. I'm going to take a moment here, and it looks like they might have a little perspiration on the floor. They're going to try and get that wiped up. Thanks to Right Choice Construction, that's Rich and the great crew. On the uh, north side here of Westby, well, when it comes to renovation or maybe you're looking to build new, be sure to contact Rich. Stop in, see what they can do for you. They've been pretty busy, I know that. Oh, what a hit there. That was Fox with a big time shot and a nice setup by Anderson. They'll take that one any day. Premier Co-op, Animal Nutrition, 
green energy hardware, convenience stores, you name it, they can help you out. In Westby and beyond, uh, ace here for Anderson, and the Hawks are up 13-9. Continuing to try to build on that lead. It's been a tough goal. There's a nice play and a good job by Campbell saving that big hit. That ball just went out of bounds <clears throat> by Prestwood. Well, I thought she had the angle for a moment and it just kind of sailed on her. Anderson will serve another opportunity here for the Blackhawks. That one in the net and uh, now back here. Anderson sets it up, back set, and a left-handed hit there. That was a nice play by Barra. Back to Barra, she goes with a free touch back over to Blunt. Prestwood, again, far side, near to far on the uh, smash. A little lighter smash, though. Here's Anderson, the lap, back set. Swenson with the hit, she'll score the point. Took a little bit off that one. Blunt was the only one who had a shot at it. And a timeout coming here by the Tigers. 15-9, Viroqua. Street Mobile Mart, downtown Viroqua. Stop in and pick up your last minute fishing requirements. Bait, good tackle, and even a quick snack. It's Viroqua's Mobile Mini Mart. Keep your vehicle running smoothly with Synergy Mobile Fuel. Rob and the whole gang wish everyone the best of luck during the 2021 season. The Vasateg Funeral Home, dedicated to serving area families in time of need. Caring, professional guidance, always a must. Contact Gina Sherry for reliable, compassionate care. The loss of the life of a loved one is always a stressful time. Turn to Vasateg Funeral Home, Westby and Viroqua. When you think of a co-op, farms may come to mind, but it's the people that make a cooperative thrive. At the Chasebird Co-op, that means everyone who's involved. Those who work there, members who do business, even customers passing through for anything from gas to tires. It's local. It's people coming together, community-wide and beyond. You don't have to be a member of the Chasebird Co-op to do business with them, but it sure has its perks, and it's free. Ask how you can become a member the Chasebird Co-op, your locally-owned co-op. Sealand's Carpet Land, located in the heart of Coon Valley. When it comes to your flooring needs, no one is better than Sealand's Carpet Land. Luxury vinyl, tile, carpet, or hardwood floors. Contact the professionals from Coon Valley. Sealand's Carpet Land, 452-3129. If you walk on it, they sell it. Viroqua will continue to serve with Mara Anderson at 15-9. Our thanks to uh, the great folks at Nordic Lanes. Open seven days a week. Check out all that they have. And, of course, those synthetic lanes. i tell you what. Bowling season is upon us, folks. If you don't have a team, maybe you want to sub, be sure to check out Nordic Lanes. Contact Scott or Sue Sordahl. And our fine friends, Rob and Tammy and the crew at Main Street Mobile Mart with Synergy Mobile Fuel. Bringing you tonight's volleyball action, the only family-owned convenience store. And that one got up into the backboard basket area. And nobody could control it when it got back. Campbell was the closest one. That was Siana. Mara is on a bit of a roll here. 16-9 your score. There's Anderson. The lap. 
Free touch coming back over by Barra, and oh, just out of bounds here. You could tell by Barra's reaction, that's not where she wanted the ball to go. Kind of got away from her there, and that'll happen once in a while. It's volleyball. Not the easiest thing in the world to bump around. Now they're going to do some more floor cleaning. Thanks to Leah Kroom. Hope you're watching tonight, Leah, and enjoying tonight's volleyball match here from Viroqua. The Blackhawks picked up a win in game one. Exciting 25-23. Stop in in downtown Westby for great haircuts, perms, you name it. Leah can take care of things for you. Nice save there. Oh, wow. That was Swenson with the one-arm save. And then uh, Anderson, I think, popped it over from way in the back row. That hit's going to go too far by Fox. She's shaking her head. She knew that one as soon as she hit it. It's 11 serving 16 now. Campbell, oh, she put too much on that one. It really carried. The adrenaline really going here for both teams, trying to make something happen. It's 17 to 11. That one will not get over the net. Fox tried to take a little bit off that serve. And now it's 12-17. Take a look here. This is uh, Bella Falcon with the serve. Anderson setting the ball up off of a pass. And oh, putting that one down was Kappa. Trixie got up in the air and used that long arm swing and really popped the ball on that. The lap comes out. Dregny comes in in the front row. Kappa drops back. She'll serve to Falcon. Campbell. And that ball hit by Campbell. Campbell to Campbell on the set. And it was hit out of bounds here in the near side. Good serve. Back row. That was Dean. Here's Blunt. Oh, a nice tip play. And somebody was there. That was Swenson. Free touch by Fox. Back row. Kappa was there, Dragney, free hit to the Tigers. Trying to pop the ball over, it's gonna be an illegal hit by Sierra Campbell. Well, Viroqua now with that, kind of that magic number of 20. They got an eight point lead. Let's see if they can get through this, finish it off. Nice uh, fan base from both sides, by the way. Norman not able to get that one over. She had a good angle, but it caught the uh, white ribbon, you might say, of the net and popped back at her. 21-12, reverse the numbers. There's Dean. Big hit, tipped at the net. That was Barra. Here comes Swenson, cross court too much. 13 serving 21, thanks to the Gunnarsson Health System, the Viroqua Clinic. You'll find prenatal care, delivery, along with physicians and certified nurses, midwives. That's Gunnarsson's, Cl Gunnarsson's Viroqua Clinic. Line drive hit, and it's just out. <coughs> the, lap, the lap had that one gauged again. That's the second time tonight that She's watched a fastball go by and just get out of bounds. Here's Grady now at 21-13. That one up into the basketball area. Oh, what a save by Dean and the Tigers. That was, uh, was that Norman over there or Williams? That was Williams who also had a save. Now, Swenson and Blunt at the net. Swenson's gonna win. Swenson hung in the air just enough and got the ball to drop. 22, 23-13, block. Got job Swenson with a second hit. Anderson setting the ball up. Here's Dregney, block, but down on the Tigers' side and we're sitting at game point. 
24-13. Here's Dregney on the serve to Dean. It's Campbell to Campbell, and they'll get the point back. Sierra to Siena, and the game's not done just yet. 14-24. Thanks to Mark Evinger, your number one stop is Evinger Equipment Sales and Service for weed eaters, lawnmowers, chainsaws, all kinds of great stuff for around your yard, garden, and who knows, maybe got a little uh, forest area. There's a ball hit, goes off Bella Falcon, off to the right side, into the stands, and it's a 25-14 win here for the Blackhawks. How about that? A two games to none lead here for Viroqua. They're gonna try and finish things off in three. The Tigers, they're gonna try and answer back. Thanks to Eagle Title Company for peace of mind when it comes to buying or selling land, uh, buildings, homes, you name it. It's Lori Holti. Contact her at 608-452-3160 for courteous and efficient help. We'll come right back with more here. Game number three around the corner. There are a lot of good reasons to shop the Westby Cooperative Creamery Cheese Store in Westby. Try the all-new sour cream pouch filled with fresh, all-natural sour cream that makes serving a whole lot easier. Just squeeze to put the finishing touches on any meal with no mess. Squeeze on tacos, chili, baked potatoes, you name it. Store it in your fridge for any time or bring it along on camping trips and picnics. Squeezable sour cream pouches are convenient farm-to-table country goodness from Westby Co-op Creamery. To rent me a electric car? Yes. What if I want to go to Reedstown? Then you just turn left. What if I want to go to California? Then you just go west. Hmm. It's just a car. For quality service after the sale, it's Sleepy Hollow in Viroqua with a collision center, detail center, and 24 hour towing. Levon and the gang are there to serve you. Located on Highway 27, Cashton Farm Supply, organic poultry, organic eggs, and more from your organic specialist, Cashton Farm Supply. When it comes to organic farming requirements, stop in and talk to the specialist, Ernie Peterson and his crew, Highway 27. Call 608-654-5123 today. Vernon Memorial Healthcare offers a five-star patient experience. Don't just take their word for it. The VMH five-star patient experience rating is from Centers for Medicare and Medicaid. VMH has received this rating for 16 years in a row. Everyone at VMH committed to making your visit a five-star patient experience. proud supporter of area events, Nordic Lanes in Westby, offering great luncheon specials, as well as many delicious pizzas for you to choose from. Now, Nordic Lanes is open seven days a week. Call ahead, 634-4000. Fun for all seasons. Nordic Lanes on the north side. Co-ed softball, men's softball, and volleyball, and much more. As we return here, let's take a look at one more of our sponsors and one of the newer businesses in Westby, of course, the Daily Brew. The uh, Old Roods and Cades invite you to stop in, try their many delicious items. Of course, they got some great tasting coffee, a huge selection there. Looking forward to see all of you and your friends at the Daily Brew, north side of Westby. Well, here we go with the Tigers and Sierra Campbell to serve. Down two games to none. They've got to win two to force game five. Here's the opening serve. That will come down to Swenson. Setting the ball up. Back row. Touched by Blunt. Off from the smash from Fox. And Verocla gets the first point. Anderson to serve. Yeah. 
There's the serve, high serve. That's going to go just out of play. A touch too much pop on that one. And it's one apiece. Here's Bella Falcon. Falcon with a good serve to Swenson on the pass. The lap with the free hit. Back over Blunt. Lost control of that one. And uh, Bella tried to get to it. Falcon had to watch out for her coach as well in uh, Kelly Schulte, who was there kind of giving some directions. Here's the serve now coming back. That was Fox for Viroqua. Free hit. Anderson went backwards to the lap. Oh, that one miscued off from the arm of the lap. And we're going to set it to a piece. Game number three. Again, Viroqua out in front, two games to none. Coming into the game is Williams. For the Tigers, Dean will step out for a moment. The libero. Here's Norman with a little jump serve. Good serve. Oh, a misalignment here. An overlap called on Viroqua. Now they'll get re-situated, but the point here, point goes to Norman and the Tigers. That one will go into the net, back to Viroqua, and will be tied again. Three apiece. Quick substitution here. Coming in is Harem to serve. And Grace Stuber will come in the front row as the lap comes out. Libero can switch in and out with whoever it seems like, right? <laughs> There's a nice play. Blunt with a big hit. Anderson with a nice save there. Free touch coming back over. That was uh, Dregny, it looks like. And that is on the line. Yeah, it looked like it was going to be out, and then it took a nosedive and caught the line. Here's Blunt to serve. Out of the ball game, number six in Reagan Carey. As uh, Blunt hits that one into the net, tough break there for the Tigers. Will stay even at four. Scrady. Number four comes in to serve. High serve down to Falcon on the pass to Blunt. Back set. Campbell too much on that one. Sienna with the hit. That one went uh, about six, seven feet too far to the back. Left-handed serve. Little tip play at the net, and that'll work by Blunt. Trying to get to it was Swenson. All she could do was smile. That was a pretty good play. Sienna Campbell with the serve. Anderson pops it up, big time hit. Can they control it? And oh, what a save there. That was Williams coming out of nowhere. Off the net, no. Blunt's pass <laughs> got into the net. Nobody could save it. That's always a tough play. Six serving five now for Swenson and the Hawks of Viroqua. Allen up into the rafters and uh, trying to save it. Free hit, yes, good job. Nope, they're gonna say it was behind the antenna. I tell you what, Emma Blunt is just, she's doing a really good job here and a great job trying to keep everything uh, even. She's trying to control the tempo. That one was just tough break. There's a good low return and Swenson diving after it. Tipped at the net on a block by Williams. They'll set the ball up. Falcon with the hit. The lap was there, another Falcon hit. And that'll score the point. Bella Falcon. Went down that far sideline, and Whitney Scrady tried to save it, but it kissed off her hand into the Blackhawk bench. Here's Williams with the serve. Line drive down to Swenson. Trying to tip the ball over was Anderson, and it went into the net. 
Well, we're back to even here at seven apiece, game number three. And it felt like that's the way it was gonna be all night long anyways. There's an ace. Ace, ace here for Williams. Coming up on that one. Tigers with some seniors, the two Campbell girls, Dean. Blunt is a senior. And Williams, there's a nice play at the net. Picking up the point, the Blackhawks getting that serve back and it's an even ball game at eight apiece. Back in is uh, number six here in Reagan Carey for Viroqua. Boy, what a serve there. Tip play to the back row. Good job by DeLapp. Anderson with the save. Free hit to Blunt. Campbell setting the ball up. Norman with the touch pass back over. Big time shot. Dug out nicely by Campbell. Back set to Sierra Campbell. Her shot towards the Viroqua bench. Sails into the bench and it's a point for the Blackhawks. And the lap at 9-8. To Falcon. Here's Blunt. Little tip play. Good job. On the reaction, that was Fox. Back to Fox. She'll go into the net. Nice job there by Anderson popping it over. That's going to sail out of bounds. Sierra Campbell, too much on that one. More of a line drive hit. Here's the serve back to Sienna Campbell. Block at the net. We're going to go illegal hit. Carey with the touch. I tell you what, both Carey and Anderson were there. And they did a whale of a job going up for the block. And then they just couldn't control the aftermath, I guess we'll call it, right? Good job by Anderson digging that one away from the net, keeping the play alive. And then ball is hit out of bounds here from uh, the Tigers going to the far side. Screedy comes out of the ball game. Re-entering here is uh, Braylon Zitzner in the front row. Good serve, little tip play at the net. Oh, return, and it's gonna be touched here by Dean. That might have been Kiri on the hit to the back row. I couldn't really tell with our referee here in the line. He's right in the line of fire. Anderson with the serve, 12-9. Back set, Falcon. Tip, nope, illegal, yep. That one was Carey as uh, the ball kind of hung there just for a moment. She knew what she had to do with it. It just didn't happen that time, that's all. It's 10 serving 12 for Bella Falcon. Good dig there and the play. Oh, they're gonna call Blunt over the net. The ball did not get over the net, says the referee. Catching a big break right there, the Blackhawks. Thanks to Chaseburg Farmers Union Co-op, John Maslevichek and his great crew. Well, I tell you what, they're gonna be busy, busy from here on out. That's gonna be hit too hard by Blunt. Viroqua out in front, 14-10. Check out their Bear Mountain View pellets. You can start ordering that. I hate to even talk about it, but it won't be long and the heating season will be upon us. There's a shot. That coming from Sienna Campbell. Well, Cashton Building Supply for all your building needs, friendly customer service. With your best interest in mind, stop in, talk to Kevin Kirking there in Cashton. There's an ace by Nortman. And if you're looking to uh, get a nice uh, design 3D picture of what your renovation or building is going to look like, Courtney Cousy can help you out with that. She's got a really neat program and you can get all your information taken care of, what you're gonna need for supplies, I'll bet, with that particular system. Here's a back set, 
Cross court hit, nice job there by Campbell on the save, the lap. Anderson now setting the ball up. Oh, too much on that one. Hit out of bounds by Carey. 13 serving 14, Nortman continuing to serve here. You're watching uh, tonight's match on Coon Valley Telecommunications, Channel 6. Hope you're enjoying that. Thanks to them, they're gonna be helping out with some of the uh, broadcast, a special broadcast of the Vernon County Fair coming up next week. We'll have some live and many, many tape delayed for all of you to watch once again. Here's a setup, big hit there. Just got the ball over, Anderson was helping out. Good save, that was Campbell to the back row. Swin or, uh, Fox was there. Oh, what a hit. What a hit there. That coming off from the fist of, uh, was that Emma? Well, let's see, I gotta check the number on that one. No, it was number uh, three, two. Yes, there we go, Zitzner. Finally got it where I could see her number. But Braylon really clocked that one with the fist. Maybe it was even the heel of the hand, I'll bet. Here's a big time shot coming up there. That was Williams, good dig by Viroqua. Touch pass back over here to the near side. Oh boy, I tell you what, Dean really went down hard. She got up, but I tell you what, that had the smart. Oh, I tell you what, what these kids do to sacrifice their body trying to get to that ball, both sides for that matter. Dean really took a bit of a slam there on the floor. We'll come right back to Dean. She's able to pass the ball. Now Blunt, free hit. Anderson, that was Harum. Good job by Stuber. Big shot, that's gonna be in. That coming from Williams. She knew it too. That one was led right into her. Harum is gonna come out. Carrie comes in and then she comes out as the lap comes in. That's what you gotta do. It's a, kind of a weird triangle of uh, substitution, but that's what you have to do. Blunt hits that one into the net and it's 17-14 for Rokla. Thanks to our fine friends, the experts when it comes to organic farming, and that is of course, Cashton Farm Supply helping us out, Ernie Peterson and that wonderful crew. I will never forget when we were in Westby, had some questions and we were trying to do some stuff in the backyard organic and they were just so helpful. Ernie sat down and showed me all kinds of different things and <laughs> it was uh, tremendous. We got a tremendous volley going on. Swenson came up with the point. Right down below us, and Emma Blunt is slow to get up. It's 18 serving 14. You want to make sure she's okay. She says she is with a short nod. That might not be all that convincing there, Emma. She's been playing her heart out here. Here's a hit to the far side, and it's on the line. Stuber put that one on that far sideline. I'm going to talk about Carmen Fortune, your local New Directions real estate expert in Westby. After this particular point, let's see what happens. Stuber bringing the ball back. Fox far side. Falcon saving it. There's Blunt. Campbell with the big hit, that was uh, Scrady, and down to the floor it goes. Tigers will get the point, 15 serving 19, yeah. Uh, boy, if you're looking to buy a new home, a new home, whether it's new to you, but uh, check out what Carmen Fortune can do in helping you. Also, uh, they have that uh, building right here in Viroqua, Northern Wisconsin Tobacco Building, a great business opportunity 
for someone with some ideas and what you can do with a building of that nature. They've got some uh, uh, nice uh, apartment setups already in there. Contact Carmen, 608-606-2497. There's a shot, but Blunt was there once again. 16-19, and there's a big hit. Holy cow, that was Swenson. And it's 20 serving 16. Swenson to serve, line drive to Falcon. Blunt, back set. Campbell with the little pass, gotta get it over, but Williams is there. A little too close to the net, and Williams out jumped Mara Anderson on that one. 17 20. Williams to serve. Been an exciting uh, match all the way through tonight. That one does not get over the net. 21 serving 17. Contact Brett or Riley Cade when it comes to clearing out old tree stumps, taking down trees that are a little bit uh, of the hazardous side of things. They'll do a great job. Free estimates and fully insured for your protection. There's a nice shot to the back row and uh, Dean will save it. Norman keeping the ball in play to the Blackhawk side. Here's a hit block and it's not over the net. Falcon and Norman were there, but the ball went straight down on the Tigers side. 22 serving 17. That's a tip play. There's uh, Dean Blunt with a nice save once again. She's been the go-to person here for the Tigers. Along with Norman, oh, there's a ball. Caught the top of the net and spun over. Brigham Oil Company, wishing all the best to the area teams this uh, fall season. And uh, be sure to contact Brian or Jody when it comes time for all of your few needs. 23-17, that one will just get over the net. And the Tigers stay alive. <clears throat> well, the bank of cash in that new facility, still the same great people and the same great service on Front Street. Thanks to Scott Wall and all that crew. Falcon with the hit, the lap saving it. Here comes Fox, back roll. Got to hurry and uh, going to cross court. Can they save it? No. Game point coming up as we thank the Agent Disability Resource Center. And by the way, they're always looking for drivers in many of our smaller communities. Contact them at 637-608-637-5201. There's a serve. Anderson, oh, too much on that one. That's probably the second or third time that she's put a little too much on it. 19 serving, 24, it's still game point. Bella Falcon cannot afford a mistake here, or any of the Tigers for that matter. That's an ace. And that puts them at 20. Dropped it between the lap and Swenson. Well, we're going to talk about Miranda Wright and then American Family Insurance, regardless of what happens here. Good setup. Back set. Fox, no. To the Tigers' side. Thanks to Miranda Wright with offices here in Verocla and, of course, Westby. That hardworking farm insurance and much more. Now we have all of our cars with them and all the insurance that we need. That's uh, They do a great job. Thanks to Miranda for her wonderful help. There's the pass back. They'll set the ball up. Williams, that's too far. And that'll be the game. Nobody touched it for Verocla. And it's a three-game sweep. The Blackhawks win 25-21 to finish off the evening here. Three games to none. My, oh my, what a match it was tonight. The Tigers of Blackfriar Falls coming into town. We figured it was going to be a good one. 
We thought it might go five even. You kind of wonder. And this time, holding serve, so to speak, the Blackhawks of Verocla. Well, they picked up a win 25-23 in game number one. Won the second game 25-20, uh, if I, my memory serves me right. And then 25-21 here in game number three. Congratulations to the Blackhawks picking up a Cooley Conference win and head coach Katie Schwartz. Well, our next live broadcast, we're going to be right back here in Verocla. It's Friday night football as the Westby Norsemen come to town. Dave Gluck and Joe Devine will have the play-by-play, -play and uh, the plan is to be on Channel 6. We hope to see you then. I'm Ken Manning, Western Wisconsin Video Production Productions saying thanks for watching, everyone. And stay tuned for more Verocla Athletics coming up on Friday night. So long for now, everyone. Have a great week.